I'm Lillian Potiker. I'm Natalie River. I'm Maria Krauss. I'm Mary Basilian. And I'm Izzy Hart. And why are you here today? Uh, we are here because we are participating in um, National History Day. Um, we are from Shaker Middle School. And what was your subject today? So our subject was the burning of the Cuyahoga River and the resulting triumph, the Clean Water Act. Five, six, seven, eight. The Cuyahoga River started out nice. Apparently, though, it came with a price. First, pollution got out of hand, creating the destruction of the land. The latest place was in 69, dating it back a while in time. It all began on a certain date. To be precise, it was 1868. Rockefeller was the first to try to waste and make the river die. Motivation was actually money. Soon the river became a thick ass <laughs> It was abused and misused by man and his machines. Today, the Clean Water Act has made a huge impact for water quality standards all over the nation. Today, the Ohio Department of Natural Resources preserves 1,361 acres of wetland in the Upper Cuyahoga Basin. Today, industry and recreation share the river, for it is very common to see an orboat next to a kayak. Today, 48 different species of fish swim in the river's water. Today, the Cuyahoga River is a 100 mile stretch of clean, eco-friendly water. Cleveland is no longer the mistake on the lake. 